Read. Verse 32. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. So those that do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. Read. But the people that do know their God. But the people that know the God of Israel. Read. Their God shall be strong and do exploits. Shall be strong and do exploits. Read. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. No, it says, but the people excuse me, that, that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. That show you that other people have their own gods. Read. Verse 33. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. Yet they shall fall by the sword and by flame, by captivity and by spoil many days. This lets you know war is going to be breaking out all over the earth. Now listen to this clearly. Read. Verse uh, 34. Now when they shall fall, they shall be hoping with a little help. They shall be helped with a little help. Read. But many shall cling to them with flatteries. But it's going to be all about talk. So all these nations that are rising up and thinking that it's going to be something at the end of the, of, of the war. It's just talking right now. Diplomats. Read. Verse 35. And some of them of understanding shall fall to try them and to purge and to make them white. Even to the time of the end. So it's going to be people going throughout the earth, baptizing people, making people white. That's Isaiah, the first chapter, the 16th to the 18th verse. People are going to start seeing that the Bible is the truth and going to start coming back to Christ and start baptizing themselves. Even the other nations, too, while this is going on. Read. Because it is yet for a time appointed, and the king shall do according to his will. And she, he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every God. This so-called king shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every God. Look how they was exalting him during his campaign. As if he was the second coming. Oprah Winfrey called him the one. Read. And shall speak marvelous things against the God of God. And he's going to be speaking against the God of all gods. Read. And shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished. But he's going to get rich. Until the indignation is accomplished. Until all the death and destruction that is put in his hands be accomplished. Read. For that that is determined shall be done. Because everything that's determined that this man must do must get done under his administration. Read. Verse 37. Neither shall he regard the God of his father. And it's saying it again. This guy will not regard the God of his fathers knowing that he's an Israelite. Read. Nor the desire of women. Nor the desire of women. This is also talking about his sexual preference. He's a homosexual. Yes, he got children, but that's all a front. He is a homosexual. All right? He deal with men. That's what he do. Read. Nor regard any God. Nor regard any God. He don't have... How can you be raised a Muslim all your life and just turn Christian? That tell you that he don't regard any God. He'll be, he will follow any God to get status and get in, get in a position to do what he do. How can, you be raised, how can you be raised a Muslim in Kenya and go to school in Indonesia and become a greater Muslim and then come to America and change your faith? Who else is this talking about? Antiochus and Epiphanes didn't switch gods. The Romans didn't switch gods. Read. For he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces. He shall honor who? But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces. He shall honor the God of forces. Who's the God of forces? The God of forces is Satan himself. We wrestle not with flesh and blood. These forces are all the demons under Satan's rule. That's who Barack Obama worships. Read. And a God whom his fathers knew not shall and he's, he honor. And he's dealing with the God that our fathers knew not. His fathers knew not. Yes, his mother is part of the queen family, but his father was an Israelite. Read. And a God whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God, whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. And he shall cause them to rule over many. And shall divide the land for gain. So he's going to be taking down these lands for gain. That's what's going on right now. And he's taking all the riches of the world. And they're pumping out paper IOUs. But they're storing all the riches for themselves. Read. Verse 40. 
And at that time of the end shall the king of the south push at him. Listen to this. And the king of the north shall come against them like a whirlwind, with, with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships. And he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter also into the glorious land. He shall go into Jerusalem also. Remember he was worshiping in Jerusalem before he was elected. Listen to this clearly. Go ahead. And many countries shall be overthrown, but these shall escape. But these shall escape. Look at the nation that's going to be escaped. That's not going to be harmed. Read. Out of his hand. Even Edom. Even who? Even Edom. Even Edom. And Moab. And Moab. And the chief children of Ammon. But these shall escape out of his hand. So these are the nations that's going to survive this. Read. Verse 42. Edom is the so-called white man, or the European powers that rule. You got Moab, which is primarily the Palestinians, and you got Ammon, which are the Jordanians. Read. Verse 42. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries. What countries will he stretch his hand towards to fight against? And the land of Egypt shall not escape. And the land of what? And the land of Egypt shall not escape. That's one of the first places in the Middle East that he staked to claim to overthrow Mubarak. Read. Verse 43. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver. So they went there to rob Egypt. That's what they really went there for. Not as soon as they went there, they seized Mubarak's bank account. They seized direct all the, the powers and the finances of Mubarak. So all the jewels and the, the gold and silver that he owned in Egypt now belongs to the New World Order. Read. And over all the precious things of Egypt and the Libyans. And where? And the Libyans. Where is he now? And the Libyans. Where is he? And the Libyans. Now they're warring against Libya. Coincidence, folks? That's how we know it's Barack Obama. After Egypt came Libya. This has not happened any other place, any other time in history. What's next? And the Ethiopians. And the what? And the Ethiopians. Down there in Somalia and in Yemen and parts of Ethiopia. They're there too, folks. Chronological order under Barack Obama. Read. And the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. Shall be at his steps. These are the places that you will know this is the man. Hold up now. Bill Clinton didn't do this. George Bush Sr. or George W. Bush didn't do this. This is speaking of Barack Obama telling us that we are at the end. Read. Verse 44. But the tidings out of the east and out, out of the north. Out of the what? But tidings out of the east. Out of the east. And out of the north. And out of the north. When you look at the northern geographic you're talking about Russia. You're talking about China. Read. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Shall do what? Shall trouble him. The north country from where these scriptures are talking about is talking about Russia and China. They're going to trouble the new world order. And the east because why? It tell you in second Ezra that those kings are going to flee and join up with other kings. That's what Gaddafi's doing right now. They're going to go and try to strike Iran. And that will be the end of the place we call Babylon the Great. That will be the beginning of the end. There will be no prophesying come out of her when that happens. All right. At that point, there's no choice but to wait for the ships of Tarshish for those that make it over into South America. Because there will be no planes flying out. None of that when this thing hit that, hit, hit that place. The Lord tell you nothing will be left. Man or beast, when they go into Iran and start this World War Three, Finish reading. Verse 44. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy, and utterly to make, many, wake up, make away many. And he shall plant the tabernacle of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain that lets you know that Barack Obama is going to be sitting over in the Middle East he's going back home so when America get dealt with he's going to have his house already set for all you Americans that voted for Barack Obama and thought that he was down with America America is not this man's home he's going to plant himself he's making himself a, a way in the Middle East now to live knowing that he sold America out what's next yet shall he come to his end 
and none shall help him. So he's going to come to an end once he once America is dealt with and he moved back over in the Middle East. And that's when he will be dealt with once and for all. Shalom.